Hello? Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I I I got a letter from you all talking about that I have to go back to work or something to receive my to continue my benefits. Do you have your case number or your social, sir? My case number is C five two seven four one eight. Four one eight. Thank you. And your name and date of birth, sir. My name is James Brown, and I have some questions too. But my name is James Brown, and and um, my date of birth is eleven three sixty four. Hi, Mr. Brown. So that letter that was sent to you, sir, is a standard letter that is mailed out to anyone that recertifies or applies for stamp. Okay. Uh, Okay, because I never get to, I never get to talk to anybody as far as my case workers are concerned. Ma'am, I, I went through some hardship, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through something. I have a federal lawsuit in federal court right now over my being reclassified as a, a black person and I'm native I'm full blooded Native American. And so, you know, uh, uh, all of the stress and everything of me losing, just recently I lost all of my artwork because the Oklahoma City basically trashed it and set it off on the curb. I've been trying to be a, a, a recognized as a Native American artist for the last 40 years in, here in Oklahoma City. I've been on the news and everything, but Oklahoma City has been deliberately hiding me for the last 40 years, you know what I'm saying? And now they just recently destroyed all my work and made me homeless, you know? So I, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm basically living on the street right now, uh, waiting on my federal lawsuit in federal court to come up. Okay. Well, I'm really sorry. That sounds awful. Yes, it just recently uh, happened to me in uh, in April. I'm, I'm sick too, ma'am. I've been, uh, you know, uh, denied medical treatment, you know, and, and I'm wondering about the so sooner care. Every time I tried to use it, they took my, uh, they, uh, they uh, uh, send me bills, you know what I'm saying, for thousands and thousands of dollars. See, I'm Native American. I'm not supposed to have to to uh, go anywhere but Native American hospitals, but they just recently banned me from the Native American hospital because uh, uh, right around my birthday, my 57th birthday, they told me they was going to give me $50 for, you know, taking the second COVID shot. And as soon as I took it, they told me, oh, well, we sorry we ran out. And they banned me from, that's all, all a part of my lawsuit, they banned me from the Oklahoma City Indian Clinic where I had been going for 20 years over that. Because I told them I was going to contact my tribe and uh, and uh, and um, and tell them about what happened to me. And they, you know, considered that a threat, you know what I'm saying? So they banned me from the Oklahoma Indian Clinic. And I'm, I have all kind of medical ailments, like high blood pressure, you know, uh, that I'm not being, you know, they had me like two different high blood pressure medicines and uh, 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 all kinds of different type of medicines and stuff. And I'm, I haven't been able to take any of my medicines for over a year now. And then, and then you said it's saying talk about making money on there. I should be having getting an income right now, some kind of way. I should have some kind of income, entitlement, or some kind of way. Is there any kind of way you can help me with that? I never got any of my stimulus money. Is there any kind of way you can help me with that? Why is my uh, all of a sudden my since I filed a federal lawsuit in federal court now my case is going to Washington County DHS. And it never was until just recently. It was always Oklahoma County. Can you explain that to me? I can. Anytime you do a renewal or an application or anything like that, sir, your case will rotate. And our case workers now are working all over the state. Okay. So like I said, I never had up until me filing my federal lawsuit over, you know, I have a case against the United States government. So. Uh, ever since then, you know, I've been getting hit with all kind of like problems. I was thinking this was going to be another problem because I'm trying to get disability and you all are saying that I have to work at 58 years old now and I'm sick and I've been denying my medical, uh, you know.
And then I was talking about my sooner care. You know what I'm saying? They don't even uh, acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? Because see, I'm never supposed to be using sooner care anywhere. Wait, I'm supposed to be going to Native American hospitals, and I have been going for the last twenty something years. But just recently, over this, you all gave me sooner care. We identified you all You did. You gave me sooner care just recently. Yeah, I know, I know, but I said, but they're still charging me. Uh, they're they're charging me every time I go to a hospital. They're still charging me. Okay, well, Mr. Brown, l l let me just let you know for sure that DHS did not give you sooner care. So who did? Okay. The Native Americans did. Well, maybe the hospital that you owe money to did. I don't know. I, I said, how would a hospital that I owe money to give me sooner care? And I don't have a hospital that I owe money to. Well, then it must not have been that, but I will give you. What I just got through telling you, ma'am, if you'll listen, is that I am Nate. Let, let me have you listen to me. I can help okay. you with okay. your SNAP. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. 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 But you can't, you can't help me. So, uh, so how did I get sooner care? Okay, okay. I, th I thought I got sooner care through you all because, like I said, it just came to me. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even apply for it because I nev never needed it. You know what I'm saying? I never needed it until the until the uh, Oklahoma Indian Clinic banned me. You know what I'm saying? I never needed sooner care. And then all of a sudden, I got it, and I never applied for it. So I thought you all had given it to me. And ma'am, you are being—you know how just—you know how just how I, re I request stuff all the time, and I have a website, and I'm a YouTuber. So just like you know, when I called and it said that you are, you know, I'm being recorded. You know, possibly you best believe you are being recorded. You understand? Oh, well, I'm very glad to hear that. Okay. That is not a problem, okay. sir. Okay. Anything I do. I know, I know, I, I know, I, I know, I, I know. I start getting treated. I know I started get I start getting treated better by these government agencies and people that are you know, uh, 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 the ma mascots for them once they find out they're being recorded. I I, I can you know, uh, uh, if you listen to any of my videos online, you'll see how I can make a person change and start treating me better once they know they're being recorded. Okay. But I can give you that phone number for sooner care. So you let me know when you're ready because it's the help okay. desk number. And okay, hold on. I I'm going to be able to help you. Okay, I'm going to get a pen yeah. right now for that. Okay. All right. And ma'am, ma you know something? I, I, I apologize for trying to get, you know, upset with you because it, it's really everything that I'm going through, you know, like even the the gentlest person, if he's, you know, a lion, for instance, you know, has a thorn in his paw, paw you know what I'm saying? He's, you know, agitated. He's, you know, angry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at things that sh he shouldn't even be angry at, you know what I'm saying? That's just like, I told you what's happened to me. So yeah, yeah, you are experiencing a little bit of my, you know. Yes, your frustration. Yeah. But like I said, I apologize. I apologize for that. But like I said, people have been treating me. You just if you've ever listened to any of my stuff that I have, you know what I'm saying? You you see, you probably understand why I've been getting you know upset with some people. You know what I'm saying? And expecting them to treat me differently because of what how I've been treated so far. So anyway, I hate to hear that. We should all be kind to one another. It's God knows truth, ma'am. Wait till you see my artwork that they destroyed. I tell you. You know, if you live here in Oklahoma, wherever you live, my name is James Brown. I'm called Windows Worker of the Seminole Nation. You will be hearing of me. You will see my artwork that Oklahoma City deliberately destroyed while they're building museums here. But what is the number that you're talking about? The phone number is 800 800-987-987. Seven. Oh wait, I can, hold on one second. Seven, seven, six, seven. I'm gonna call them right now. So it's nine eight one eight hundred nine eight seven 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 six seven. You got it. And what is your name, ma'am? My name is Cynthia. 
and nice. Mr. Brown, I want you to know how much I hope everything turns around and gets and gets positive for you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Like I said, this this is my lifetime work. I tell you, I'm Seminole, and we're the only nation that was never conquered by the United States government. And I'm full-blooded Seminole, so you best believe you will be hearing of me. And I'm making history right now. See, you can't deny me my history. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Seminole blood member, tribal elder. I'm a member of the Seminole Nation. You know, card carrying member of the Seminole Nation, man. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm a card carrying yeah, member of the Seminole Nation. You feel me? I'm going to tell you what, Mr. Brown, when I see you on TV, I'm going to go, I talked to that man. Okay. Yeah, because like I told you, I'm not playing. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious, man. But you, can't, you, can't, you can't do anybody like they did me, man. I mean, wait till you see how they did me. Thank you so much, ma'am. And like I said, I can tell sincerely that you are sorry. But like I said, I'm a, I apologize, too, for talking to you rudely. And, and I appreciate you for helping me. And I'm going to call these people right now. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome, sir. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.